Here we've got a case of a 75 year old lady who complains of pain, redness, reduced vision and sensitivity to light after her surgery. Now we can see quite a bit of blepharitis here. And if you look carefully, you can actually see the individual meibomian glands. And if you express those, you'll get a lot of oil secretion. Now, looking at the rest of the anterior segment, we can see, yes, there's lots of blepharitis, but also you can tell that there's some conjunctival hyperemia. Specifically, you can see that this is centered around the limbus and we can refer to this as ciliary flush. And that's suggestive of some inflammation within the eye. Looking on fast or straight ahead at the cornea, we can see decimase folds, and those are quite clear, and that's suggestive of some swelling, inflammation of the cornea. And that would explain why there's blurred vision, because when there's swelling of the cornea, the refractive properties of the cornea are not optimal, and therefore the patient will not be able to see as clearly. Now, continuing with the rest of the examination, we can see that there doesn't appear to be any lens which is prolapsing from the back. We're looking now at the anterior chamber. Maybe we can see a few cells which are suggestive of some post-operative inflammation. When we're looking at the corneal section, I think we can also appreciate those decimase folds. And looking into the vitreous, we can't seem to see any vitreous inflammation or any cells there either. So yeah, I think we can see a few inflammatory cells there and that's not unexpected. So at this point, the patient is three weeks following their surgery. They're still taking Maxidex as part of their post-op regimen, but they aren't taking any other medication. So let's look at that corneal section, and there you can see that kind of crisscross pattern. Those are the decimase folds on cross-sectional view. And we can see here very clearly that the lens is in the bag and the capsular axis is visible. It does look maybe slightly small, but the lens is in the bag and everything looks okay. So as part of a post-op review in this kind of patient, I think it's very important to examine the retina as well, because we want to see, are there any retinal breaks? Is there a retinal detachment? Is there any other cause for their reduced vision? The retina is clear, but we can see actually a vitreous opacity, and that looks like a long-standing floater, so that may be suggestive that the patient has had a posterior vitreous detachment, and the rest of the retina looks healthy. Now, when we did an OCT for this patient, it actually did show that there was a mild amount of cystoid macular edema. So what we did for this patient was Given their ocular surface disease, their blepharitis, we gave them some preservative-free dexamethasone to be used six times a day for two weeks. We also gave them Acular, that's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drop, and that's to be used for three times a day for their macular edema. We then saw them four weeks later, and thankfully everything had resolved.